This is part three of the 5x8 camper trailer build series. And I have all the <coughs> sidewalls up, um, the door frames uh, have a passenger side door. I'm looking through here, have the rear rear door. So I finished up, I wanted to do this little uh, tailgate um, primarily to for low speed bumps, you know, like half a mile per hour at a traffic light. Wanted to protect the trailer from a um, from a high bumper cap, and I mean it won't won't take a you know even a couple mile per hour collision, but at least it'll protect it from a slow traffic light bump. Um, I took the old uh, what do you call it the spring latches from. Uh, the carrier on trailer ramp and I put them on the inside they had them on the outside I didn't like that because you can run into them it looks ugly so I put them on the inside but I like like having this little step here you know I fish a lot it's a good seat to change waders good spot to put tools on um, cook from whatever and welded welded chains uh, to support and uh, put three door hinges here we'll see how long they last I welded them on um, what do you call it little little plates so they'll be easy to grind off uh, and added a uh, just angle angle iron uh, in a triangular fashion um, give it a little support if there's a bumper tap and also support for the chains but I do like the tailgate so I have uh, pretty much most of the sides up have one little uh, corner piece and left to notch out uh, on the U-shaped front end and uh, got got the big got the big interior wall canvassed um, have to canvas the rest of the interior then I'll canvas the roof and the outside and glue the roof on uh, Last couple weeks, I bought the last big 9x12 canvases from Harbor Freight, and they haven't restocked it, so I'm in kind of a holding pattern for the canvas. Uh, I may go to the other Harbor Freight, or may just order it online, but uh, this canvas here um, had no seam in it, uh, so I'd you know, have two more seamless 9x12s, and I don't know if that I just got lucky with the batch or if that's how they're doing it now. So, waiting to see once I get the new canvas it'll, if it'll have seams in it. Um, that's why I'm holding off. I want to use the seamless stuff on the outside um, and seamless or the seamed canvas on the inside if that's how it turns out. So, I notched a pop-up frame, I notched, notched out both the front and the back, uh, so it sits in here, uh, sits in here nicely, and finished the lid for the pop-up frame, uh, so basically, uh, this 45 degree, uh, 45 degree will sit flush. Will sit flush with the roof, front, back, and sides. I still have to cut out the side roof panels, but I got the front 
notched out also for the pop-up frame and so basically here's the got the lid on the top and what I'm doing is I've got it uh, inset on the lid um, and it'll sit flat and I've uh, cut out a groove for the vinyl vinyl weather seal that will that will fit into the groove all the way around and I have latches on order uh, so basically I'll cut out uh, cut out spots here in the lid and basically attach the adjustable uh, latches all the way around so I can crank down the lid and keep the seal and use a lot of silicone on the outside make sure uh, make sure we don't have any water intrusion into the canvas I've got one little uh, piece left to fill in the pop-up lid uh, but that's basically part three for now and next steps are finish the rest of the roof cutouts um, canvas the interior and exterior I'll have to lift up the body oh I bought the um, bought the foam insulation for the floor here I'll do that last uh, and then put a laminate some sort of a laminate on top of it but so basically next steps um, or final step will be canvas the outside put the drip edge drip edge down lift up the whole body um, and finish off the bottom edges so that's where we are now